Hello, it's your friend, Neo. And today, I'm going to be playing a game called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. Where you help a girl buy some milk from the store. Now, I heard that this game is, like, kind of short. So, I'm gonna be doing, like, a full playthrough in one video. And, uh, maybe try to get, like, the other endings as well. So, let's get into it. Write down your name. Um, I don't know whether to go by Sleepy or by Neo. I think I'll just go by Neo. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought if someone's reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blur it out too much. I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Crap, I forgot. 19th of 10th, and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again, hello, can I get? Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time, <laughs> I was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ugh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Haha, <laughs> loser. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. H how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 50 on on the grass. You have to undo the previous step. He he he. How, how do you imagine that? It's not the first time that this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. You're so stupid. I'm gonna choose this one. I... I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. So... Step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly your own footprint. Wait a minute. Do you mean step one? What then? But it's already the 52nd. Or wait, I'm going backwards, so then it's the 15th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so... You'll be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes! I carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn the first person I see. Hello, can I? Oh. Excuse me, what? 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 Oh. You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. 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 
What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining won't be enough. Oh. Something like that. So, I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh! <laughs> Jima unlocked. Oh. My interlocutor shook in the crawled way. You just repeated after him. And it worked! Do it more often! Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he... really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now! Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. You know what? I think you're right. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack there are bags of milk. We both stand. And the milk lies? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you remember why you're here? To buy milk. So, buy it. Right. Here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here? Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. You're getting on my nerves. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob of my little victories? I sign, reach out and take the milk. Or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on, come on! 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up! I remember what these games are called, visual novels! And by the way, the numbers are written there in full with the letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But they're the author- <laughs> But they're the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either! Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. Ahem. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get or you'll get it at home again. I'm on my way. Hello. C can I get get some milk, please? Oh. You have it. Uh, give. I put a witty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk too. Hi. Can I... Can I have it, please? No. Please. No! But please, Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No! But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you? You're pathetic? Pay for the milk. Pay for the milk. Haha. <laughs> really? <laughs> what would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded <laughs> contently and put it in the cash register. Thank you. Goodbye. Two days. I walk down a familiar street past the gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. 
don't think anything of it. I just love the marital structure of the verbal con contradictions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a ma mile long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I'd tell you. But I'm really interested. Well, look, the ratio of water to the milk and volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best, unless you want to drink more than to eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a, a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been every part of this path, simple path, I see. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains. Petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance, and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plane? Gently heel, toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here! I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly disparting giant. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck! Oh, really? Although, if you think about it... Are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? The world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain, streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently, these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. I don't know what to choose. You have to accept the truth. No! You know what? What? Since I'm a character in the visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. It could hurt your recovery. If you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for a cli cliched visual novel monologues. I move closer, place notably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. I realize that I'm going crazy, the medications are becoming less and less effective. So, ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, no. <laughs> Please capitalize it, you're ruining the narrative. No. I'll be honest with you, and I expect the same from you. Please. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Oh my god. No period. Okay. Really? 
I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read any many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. Literally, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I have major issues with reading. Hopefully I'm not this bad this time. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Let you at least be one who sees me for who I am, even though I made you up. Don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. Um, I must be- I must seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> what is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since um, something happened, all I see is red, red blood everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what the other colors looked like. Come on. Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Promise. I'm serious. Of course you wouldn't- you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? <laughs> I won't waste time. What do you see? Um, it's hard to make out. Um, red. Anyway, this is my. D <laughs> I wow! I would have never guessed that. Uh. <laughs> In fact, I can't see that at all. I- <laughs> Well, um... Some of his parts, at least. Oh, well, I mean... Damn. We do have a very difficult family, but despite all the problems, I n never would have thought- Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out of the window and died. This is my last memory. Then a long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more your merit. I keep thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or, oh my god, what will he think? I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but clearly it paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> she took off the borders. And yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know, day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. But, you know what? Today is a special day, because I have you. There- That was very rude of you. Oh no. I'm not gonna pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? I, I was reading that. <laughs> when I get to my floor, I hang over the railing, repeating this action every day, like a ritual. I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. 
A few minutes ago, the effects of the medication finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Hello. A little too close there. Did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medication help? Or medicine, I mean. Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. Team unlocked. Milk bot. All right. So I'm going to attempt uh, any other endings that there might be. Shut up and go already. Hey, aren't you supposed to help me? I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Crap, I forgot. Haha, <laughs> loser. Don't insult me, please. By the way, blah blah. <laughs> She's mad. Looks like Neo doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Well, anyways, that was the entire game of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. I I believe I've gotten all the endings and uh, all the achievements for this game. And it, it was a fun experience. It, it broke the fourth wall a couple of times. It, it was a really fun experience, and I hope you liked it too. All right, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.